Today you will see a sea cucumber knock out another sea cucumber with a fart. The place is Apo Island, Negos Oriental Province, Philippines. And the scene is one sea cucumber and this is this black animal in the foreground. I believe this is Holoturia flavomaculata grazing on another sea cucumber, which I believe is Holoturia fuscopunctata. So the big white thing in the back is another sea cucumber. Now normally sea cucumbers just graze on sand, on rocky surfaces, they're grazing algae, but this sea cucumber decided to graze on another sea cucumber of a different species. So what's a sea cucumber? It's an echinoderm related to sea urchins and sea stars. And they're tube shaped and yeah, they're grazers. So I want to say none of this I have staged, none of this I have arranged. This is something I came across when I was really filming something completely different. And then I decided this is so curious that I have to point my camera there. So this sea cucumber and we're using a little bit of a time-lapse video editing trick here so that we're getting to the point soon the black sea cucumber is getting near the butt of the white sea cucumber so it's grazing along now we are at real speed again it's grazing it's grazing it's reaching the area of the butt of the other sea cucumber you can tell that this the white sea cucumber which has just been laying there gets a little bit annoyed you can tell that by the way it's shaking back and forth and by the way it's starting to contract what is it gonna do against this intruder it's gonna rip a massive fart there is a massive sand and seawater fart and the black sea cucumber is knocked back uh, to the count one two three four five six seven eight nine we have a knockout so this is a view from above the white sea cucumber has knocked back the black sea cucumber which now only now is about to get its bearings uh, these animals have a smell of olfaction uh, a sense of affection uh, of smell and they have a, a sense of touch they don't see very well at all so it probably had no idea what hit it it probably thought all along that it was grazing on a rock now this is sea cucumber number one again retracting from my camera so the sea cucumbers a large animal this individual is probably almost mm, a meter long probably something like 90 centimeters they're very squishy animals unfortunately they're being fished so they're being caught and dried and yeah, here you see another oscillation this is the sea cucumber butt oscillating the reason for this is that they're breathing uh, through gills which are located in their rectum. So they're actually pumping out fresh oxygen rich uh, seawater and they're pumping that in and out of their body cavity. Yeah, so here you see this animal moving. They're essentially one big oscillator and uh, yeah, as I've mentioned, they are being fished, mostly exported to China. They're being dried and then used in soups. I actually had it once it's pretty tasteless so it's there's not a lot of protein it's mainly like a luxury status symbol food so i don't think there's a good reason to take these out of the ocean fascinating beasts a bit like these giant sandworms in dune so you can see the, the way of locomotion that there's just this wave of contraction going forward in the sea cucumber um, this is in pretty shallow waters. This is probably about seven meters deep in the sand. And this sea cucumber would ingest the sand, digest what's digestible in the sand, and then expulse the rest. So a massive beast here. This is really probably the size of my leg, and I have big legs. I mean, uh, of my thigh at least. And um, yeah, again here from the top, 
you see the kind of locomotion where this wave of contraction moves forward uh, that you know fairly well camouflaged in this white sand but still you know uh, hard to miss and yeah here you can see my camera so for a lot of this videography I actually place the camera in the sand and make sure I don't damage anything of course but this gives still recordings and here I'm filming with my GoPro from the other side and this is the proper way to give respect to the sea cucumbers. Now I hope you have enjoyed this very curious piece of natural history. Obviously please like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, send me fan mail and um, here so that you can have a chill day you have another minute of a sea cucumber anus opening and closing, oscillating. Please meditate over this and have a fantastic day. Bye!